Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening uh, to the viewers of Unnati. Um, it's such a pleasure today to have uh, to host uh, Shanta Valuri, ma'am. Uh, she is uh, a DNI evangelist. She's been at the forefront of creating a more diverse and a more inclusive and she come, uh, workplace, and she comes with immense experience uh, in, across sectors. Um, uh, and she had served at uh, the leadership teams and the leadership positions of numerous organizations. And now she serves on the board of uh, leading NGOs across the country. Shanta, ma'am, it's such a pleasure having you on the podcast today and uh, an honor to be hosting you. Uh, ma'am, for the audience, if you could come in with a small introduction about your journey and more specifically about uh, you know, your journey in the space of DNI, uh, and also if you could touch about how you've been transforming the lives of the transgender community, which is very dear uh, to me. Uh, would be wonderful for the audience. Over to you, ma'am. Hi, thanks for this opportunity, Arjun. I mean, you know, thank you, first of all, for inviting me this evening uh, for this. Uh, now, across the globe, if people are dialing in from various parts, I would like to say just like Arjun, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. As we embark on this journey, let me tell you that I have been a woman professional since I started working since 1989. Mm -hmm. I started right. my career as a, a salesperson who was selling microwave ovens door to door. Achana. And I was in a very highly male dominated environment. Absolutely. Because in late 80s, it was unheard mm -hmm. of, of women carrying a 20 kg pro product and going door to door mm -hmm. to demonstrate mm -hmm. and to sell. Hmm. So I think I started my career in an all odds situation. And therefore, I'm very proud to say that, you know, I'm happy to see today that we use terms like inclusivity, diversity. Hmm. I think hmm. those terms were unheard of for a very long time, at least the first 20 years of my career. Right. So right, today, while I sit here and I'm given this opportunity, Arjun, to talk about it, hmm. this has started very early on in my life. And it has not come later in my life. I just put a framework to this storyline. And as far as trans people are concerned, somewhere mm -hmm. in the in 2015, I okay. wanted to hire a, a, a trans woman into my organization okay. Okay. to head diversity, equity, and inclusion. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, because I couldn't find anybody more perfect. Achha. You know. Okay. And the reason I'm saying I couldn't find anyone more perfect is women are known to be nurturing, empathy, mm. EQ. I'm not saying men don't have it, but for some reason, mm. women are known to be like, you know, mm. they're more nurturing, mm. they're more inclusive. Mm. You know, ke sunte hai, with bhai ke karte hai, you know, whatever it is, then you become a part right. of another family. And therefore, when and when I looked at the EQ of a woman and the assertiveness of a male, Mm -hmm. and the aggression to outperform and to do well, I think the combination right. is there in trans people. Okay. They come with the aggression, and I think that works in an environment which I was planning to hire. For whatever reason, I couldn't hire the person into my company. Okay. But this thought continued to stay with me. And mm -hmm. uh, actually, this emergence of Interacting with trans came when we had called Gauri Savant for one of our Women's Day program to talk about okay. her journey. And yeah. I was shocked at their adversity in diversity. Right. And I felt okay. very privileged as a woman. And, you know, that is when the journey of working with trans people actually began for me. So it's not yeah. a journey which happened yesterday. It's a journey okay. of at least eight years. Wonderful, ma'am. And uh, ma'am, Unnati, may we follow one format which I request my guests to, uh, you know, oblige and and something which uh, it was uh, a pleasure when you start said that terms. We will have a heart to heart talk, and with that, yes. I think that is something which becomes very special to this podcast. Ki, you know, uh, we we make the setup such, and we share those insights with the audience that practitioners. Of course, the jargons, the learnings, they have it better. What they come here to understand is people who have walked the talk, people who have gone through the journey, and if they share um, in the in the more thread, threadbare fashion about their journey, I think that is something which is very enriching for the audience. And uh, my job because when you said it, that this is what I would want to also be 
uh, you know, following for the format for the show. So thank you so much for this, ma'am. And for the audience, uh, the first trans cafe, uh, trans cafe in Lokhandwala, uh, Shanta ma'am is uh, attributed to its success. And she started that. And uh, ma'am, I would want for the audience, if you want to touch a little bit more, how did you start it? What was the motivation to it? And where does it reach today? Um, if you could speak a little bit about that. So I'll be, you know, I'm fortunate to say that I don't want to be the face of the trans community. Okay. okay. I think, you know, sometimes you're more privileged. Mm -hmm. And you should look at that opportunity of being privileged to pay for it. Absolutely. So I have, so I clearly, you know, so, you know, I started so in 2020 when Jee. COVID was happening mm -hmm. and, you know, the trans people was something that was of interest to me from 2015. Absolutely. When you're Jee. employed in an organization, your ability to do a change is very difficult because you have to work in a format. Nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that. You mm -hmm. know, it's a professional environment. You know, Arjun, you'll understand that, you know, there are some tenets. Mm -hmm. It's mm. not a personal proprietary firm where I'll decide how I want to run something. But, but on a personal mm. level, I always have an opportunity to make an impact, which is outside of my professional impact. Very true. And I think 2020, when COVID struck us big time, I Gee. started my own rotary chapter okay. along with two others. And the single right. agenda that I had was to have diversity, equity, and inclusion. Mm. And it was all about inclusion of trans people. Okay. So specifically. I, specifically, the whole okay. idea was the first the step was to convince Rotary to mm. say we can induct trans people. Okay. Okay. That was the mm. first one. So there is a mindset change. Okay. And I think mm. for me, the biggest challenge in any situation has been once you change mindset, mm. you know, the universe conspires to make things happen. Because the purpose is larger than the person. And I think mm -hmm. to some extent, I am, you know, in a way, uh, uh, obliged to the universe. Because I was able Jee. to set up my first, uh, you mm. know, we set up our own Rotary Club called the Rotary Club of Mumbai Inspire. Okay. We, we inducted two trans women. Okay. I ran it like the president of uh, Rotary in the very second year of its inception. Actually, six months of its inception, I became the president. Okay. And that uh, started the work of getting funds for starting the mm. trans cafe. Okay. The trans cafe's objective was basically to bring people out of sex work mm. and begging mm. and to bring them and give them a decent life and mm. say you are truly inclusive in society. Bilkul, sir. Mm. And uh, so fortunately for me, my uh, the person I work with very closely, who's also been mm. your uh, mm. your um, you know guest, guest at some point mm. of time, which you just shared with me some time mm. ago, is mm. Zena. So mm. I induct Zena into Rotary as the first ever Rotarian trans woman, mm. and Zena joined us, and mm. then subsequently we raised funds from okay. the market, which was largely mm. for Rotarians. Okay. And I'm very proud to say as a Rotarian that mm. while the mindset took a while, the work mm. happened very quickly. So we got these were, sorry, funding. sorry. These were uh, not any institutional donors. I think these were not corporates. These were end individuals. Who were, these were end it individuals. Clubs, clubs. Clubs are always constituted of individuals only. Achha. Now, certain clubs do get uh, institutional donors, mm. but trans, setting up a cafe, these are all very out of the ordinary, you know, and they don't happen right. overnight. Mm. So, I think uh, it was a combination of sorts. Mm. I am a gender person who's enjoyed a high-ranking corporate life. Gee. I'm a Rotarian. I'm hmm. the president of Rotary. And then I have counter peers who are also presidents, impactful people of Rotary. And then I had Zena. Hmm. I think the world, the, the universe had conspired to make a common cause. And that's why it hmm. happened. So I will not hmm. like to take credit for this in isolation, Arjun. I understand. I think it's fair to take hmm. credit because many people hmm. played a very important role. Hmm. Fortunately for us, the cafe runs very well. We okay. have the lives of almost five to seven people in the journey mm. and uh, today uh, we also have a bank premises where okay. we run the pantry or and the cafeteria mm. sorry not the pantry mm. the cafeteria for that bank as well mm. 
So in fact, okay. if you ask me, the bank, that particular bank has actually moved the needle. And I think mm. that that's a great recognition of the good work mm. that Zainab and I have been able to do as a starting point. Ma'am, uh, you come with immense experience in the space of uh, financial institutions with your history of working for them. And I believe that uh, they can play a very, uh, you know, in, very important role in uh, addressing and uh, working towards uh, important social issues. And, 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 and I also conceive this even as we run NABIT that uh, apart from diversity, every issue is equally important. But then I feel that... Uh, you know, the certain issues which, which touches a chord, and as I was speaking to a previous guest too, ki, there are certain issues uh, which people associate better with. And us role mein, uh, I want to know from your experience, ma'am, how can one select a cause? And what roles can financial institutions play towards improving or impacting or better, uh, better impacting on certain, um, you know, aspects which, which plague the society? How can they work towards it? See, I, you know, I like to break this up a little bit. You know, mm. so I also was head of HR, as you know, Arjun. I wasn't mm. just head mm. of CSA. Okay. Fortunate to do two, two of very critical areas in mm. my last assignment. Yeah. If today you look at what we like to call environmental social governance, yeah. okay, part of the sustainability reporting for every listed entity, whether financial mm. institution or otherwise. Mm. It's part of your annual report. You have to put mm. a sustainability report. Because One of the mm. easiest, so what is it? It's all about environment, it's about social, it's all about, also about governance. Mm. If you look at all the hanging fruits right now, mm. environment, you have to make climatic changes, you have to look at planet, you know, you have to look at, you have to look at what is the carbon um, Emission mm -hmm. and measurements and techniques of that. Mm -hmm. In social, we're doing a lot of work on CSR and things, you know, which are impactful based on policy. But there's a very mm -hmm. important area, which is a part of the ESG, is gender equality. Correct. And that is a very low-hanging fruit in any mm -hmm. organization format today. Okay. Okay. And that's one part of it. The second part of it is that, you know, we all institutions, especially mm. financial institutions, look mm. for funding from overseas investors. Okay. Overseas investors today clearly ask for people, planet and profit, which is the triple P mm. for making an investment on anything that is survival, metric oriented and long term. Okay. So there hmm. is this opportunity. What can you touch as an organization if you want investor confidence and investor money to hmm. come in? The simplest form hmm. is gender diversity. Okay. Now, this okay. is one part of a drive that every person who's in charge of increasing gender in the organization will work on, including okay. diversity and inclusion. I'd like to extend that to say DNI. When hmm. I do CSR, hmm. Do I want to rank my gender story? One is woman empowerment. Mm. There is enough and more in this country happening on woman empowerment. Mm. We have some fabulous stories about people like Chetna Galasina, whom I'm a true admirer of, mm. on the work she has done on Mandeshi and you know the kind of work she does. Mm. That leaves you with two additional subsets on inclusion and diversity. I'm not even going to raise caste, ethnicity, and all mm. of that. Mm. There are two areas which I think need attention, and there is not mm. there is attention, but not enough. Okay. The second area is on people who are specially abled. Okay. And there are people who are probably even the blind, the deaf, and the dumb. Mm. Okay. And the third category is my trans people. Okay. As a woman who held a senior role and who was driving the DNI strategy of the company and following mm. the metrics as an HR mm. professional, the women mm. were getting taken care of. Okay. The challenge has always been how do you? So, one big thing that I did even then was to support the deaf and dumb. Okay. And actually, did a training course on um, the sign language. Hmm. 
you have 43 50 languages why can't you have one more language called sign language hmm incorporated into an organization hmm what does it require today the number of people who understand the sign language it's a profession hmm if i am if i am able to learn the sign language and i am able to forward and train people to come back into workforce i am hmm. creating what we like to call sustainable livelihoods Hmm. So I think the key part that you and I need to recognize, uh, Arjun, at any point of time, is that it's not just about women, gender. Hmm. It has hmm. to move beyond women and gender. I think for me, that is hmm. my real calling on pay forward. Right, I understand. And that is my investment, truly speaking. Ma'am, one, you have something very important which you have done is uh, maybe businesses understand. uh the concept of what is monetarily to be gained if there is a more tangible answer to it so when you mentioned about how you know investments and foreign investments specifically are also directed by and and, and what is reported in the esg reporting they come significant there that sets uh you know a kind of a carrot uh, to their approach of why is it important to pursue because often what happens is uh many times csr specifically uh is seen as an obligation is seen as an additional responsibility which has been enforced because of compliance requirements by the government and uh whilst they are um, you know people who may have a different opinion to it many a times it's felt like it's forced on uh it's, and what i hear from you know people is that uh this is not our bread and butter and for us this is an additional responsibility which has been enforced on us so usko leke when you speak about how it's also linked to potentially to the growth of the organization i think that's a very significant point because there is something which the company can take back from this yeah and you know csr is also changing very dramatically you know the good part is the government has been a great facilitator for this hmm you know hmm. our entire ecosystem from the new government has been very strong on csr so the due mm-hmm. diligence the metrics there are a lot there's lot of pressure on you know even the schedule what are mm-hmm. the areas you can work in and what are the areas you can't work in i think mm-hmm. we have we have evolved as a as a country not just as an organization mm-hmm. as a country we have really moved the needle from mm-hmm. beyond just looking at it as a surface so i don't disagree with you arjun to some extent that it's an additional activity for people mm-hmm. i think it is about see because in organizations finding mm. purpose is not an organizational war cry mm. Mm. profitability mm. is an organizations war cry bingo mm. yeah absolutely mm. war cry is profitability mm. everything linked and there's nothing wrong of being profitable because your your csr budget is linked to profit absolutely if mm. you ask me if i am the csr head of a company which i was for many years i started mm. csr in my erstwhile organization mm. and ran it and won the asian banker award for the best csr uh, bank in my last mm. year with the bank too so mm. what i'm trying to tell you is that if you are able to understand it's about people planet and profit Hmm. there a combination of sorts what is the world i want to leave behind in 2050 i whether i am alive is not important hmm. i have a generation of people who will be there in 2050 so hmm. every investment if i start thinking of the purpose of a larger good i hmm. automatically look at csr as a business investment hmm. and not hmm. just an activity for completion hmm hmm a forced activity <laughs> it's that's why this word of forced activity it is not a forced activity it is finding purpose hmm and it's a i mean i for me it has been my best part of my career which hmm. helped me to actually t- take a crossroad arjun hmm. to not retire but resign hmm. to find that finding purpose as the goal thank you sir so in a way you have continued with that journey it's like just uh, totally. on to what uh, hmm. totally but do i run it like a business yes you need hmm. funds you need hmm. continuity you need due diligence you hmm. need uh, to communicate to people at large why you are doing what you are doing you are not doing ma'am, it for the heck of it i think somewhere ma'am you've touched a chord because 
होता क्या है एंड आई फील एन जी ओज शाय अवे फ्रॉम एट टाइम्स स्पीकिंग एट ब्लंटली दैट इफ वी आर रनिंग अबसेट विच इज इन टू विच इज प्रॉफिट जनरेटिंग for the for the case for example when you speak about nabit we have a nam which is providing it support services now that is run for profit that is run by providing services to company then we do generate a surplus from it how we plow back that that profits is to reduce our dependence on grant alone ye cheez it it sounds uh, as if you know then we are compromising on the cause because when we say that we are running a separate arm which is for profit it feels that it is divergent to the larger principle that how can an ngo you know no, create an arm which is that to ye cheez ye cheez log nahi bolte matlab i at least wherever i speak about it i speak it in as many words that yes we have an arm which is for profit we have an ngo which is also independent of it and yes it is also true that we have people with disabilities who are major employees in our base of uh, who we are serving via the for profit arm and we we are very proud about this part and we speak about it in as many words as we can and i feel why we created it also was with the simple idea that you should not be dependent on grant alone if there are years where grants aren't available we cannot shut stop we have to have functionality in place and we have to have sustainability in place so this was our idea on how we see um, you know an ngo should be functioning i think arjun sorry to butt in but you know whenever you have i i think the biggest challenge that ngos need to do so you know mm-hmm. it's today i can talk with a lot more confidence arjun because i sit on the board of an ngo mm-hmm. which basically is works with specially able children mm-hmm. and uh, let me tell you i don't sit on the board just because i need to be on a board of an ngo i contribute mm-hmm. financially to to mm-hmm. that ngo and i also okay. monitor areas which i can contribute hmm okay and we are a professional board so somebody is great at finance somebody is great at fundraising somebody so every one of us has a role and a job and all of us have to contribute every year hmm the objective between all board members is clear why we all got together and why are we putting our hard earned money into that because we have set hmm. the why the same why we have shared with our second line and our third line the problem is when you don't communicate that i am setting up an advisory wing to help me to raise the extra that i need to support the same cause if the why is not clearly spelt out then this this ambiguity on why we are doing what we are i'm not going to take the name of a a, a company a csr giving company mm. who has an advisory wing for csr mm. Mm. company mm. does it and does it very seriously advisory wing mm. and honestly mm. when i got into csr they were already in csr which was a foundation mm. and they told me that if you want to do this you know we will charge you 5 lakhs of rupees and we can mm. help you to do the policy we will help you to do all that mm. my mm. common sensical approach was i don't understand csr but that doesn't mean that my whole organization people don't understand what it is to volunteer or do social responsibility mm. or there are no policies available in public domain right mm. so what do mm. you do you conserve the five lives mm. you do a makeshift policy you get it validated by people who have worked in csr maybe they did that role you call people mm. and say mere ko madad chahiye the mm. Mm. then people help you to and then it becomes when i started the cyclothon which was like completely out of the ordinary uh, arjun mm. nobody expected mm. something like that in the bank i had mm. a limited budget i wanted to enhance the budget for a larger cause i started mm. a fundraising through the cyclothon and the cyclist was the ma- the only cyclist was my husband yes 1000 kilometers he used to cycle just to raise funds so end of the day if your objective is larger than life goal mm. and you're looking at business mein dekho if i want to do business mm. main i will say from my branches itna business aayega from my mm. corporate itna business aayega mere paas individual se itna business aayega mere paas itna gap hai main kahan se leke aaun what mm. will i do i will do online main kuch aur digital mode karungi i will increase mm. the product of my people through incentivizing kuch to karungi na to meet the bigger goal why can't we do it in the ngo sector this is my want mm. if i want to impact and be relevant 
and this mm. is the scale i'm looking at for sustainability what mm. are my gaps and how should i fill those gaps mm. Mm. you know and i think it's a business if you run csr as a business mm. you will get desired outcome without mm. losing your purpose bilkul sahi baat hai bilkul sahi baat hai and uh, i think the seriousness which it deserves will be come in only if it's considered as a business नहीं तो क्या होगा कि वो गैप रहेगा कि व्हाई व्हाई दिस और व्हाई डज इट डिजर्व द अटेंशन दैट इज रिक्वेस्टेड फॉर इट टू बी गिवन राइट तो वहां पे मैम एक आई थिंक देयर इज समथिंग व्हिच नीड्स टू बी रीलुक्ड इनटू एंड होपफुली दैट शुड बी द वे फॉरवर्ड मैम आपके हिसाब से व्हाट आर द फोर्थकमिंग यू नो न्यू एडवांसमेंट्स व्हिच यू फील are important in the in the dni space because you have to held the due responsibility of leading the hr department and you have ex, uh, immense experience of multiple of decades uh, in this journey to kya naya cheez hona chahiye what should be those advancements in the dni space because uh, as i was speaking to zanab also and i remember she mentioning this that the problem is that when we do not have well defined matrices of mapping um, you know success or failure and then every initiative uh, is then like you rightly said not been seen as a it's seen as a sympathetic inclusion it's not seen as a business proposition aur jab ye gap reh jata hai dono ke beech mein is when the whole problems uh, because then there is no growth happening in that space so if we have hired a few uh, people from the disabled community if we have hired a few transgenders but we aren't growing that program then why or why not will we grow that program is dependent on certain matrices isko kya matrix ho sakta hai which companies can adopt see first and foremost you know i want to tell you that companies are still struggling with gender okay okay and gender is male female that's hmm. their first identification the challenge that an organization has is and i think rightfully so especially in metro cities and if i take bombay delhi etc where real estate is at its peak 99% of the time commercial real estate if i take a specially able person into my company i need to give that person the infrastructure to thrive mm-hmm. okay okay so one is redesigning your infrastructure is critical if you put this as a goal so once you define why do i need specially able people okay let's take that as an example i need specially able people for continuity of my business because today opportunities are so many that male and female are not staying with a particular organization attrition has been at its highest over the last couple of uh, years and the question is everybody wants instant gratification यू नो भैया आप इंस्टाग्राम में है एवरीथिंग अभी एक फोटो लगाया तो हमको आज के आज लाइक चाहिए उसके ऊपर आज के आज नहीं नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी मिनट आई वॉन्ट लाइक ऑन इट अरे बीस मिनट में लाइक नहीं आया या पांच मिनट में लाइक नहीं आया दिस सोशल प्रेशर यू आर इन दैट कम्युनिटी एंड हु इज इन दैट कम्युनिटी मेल एंड फीमेल वॉट इज दॉट इज दॉन्ट ऑफ अ स्पेशली एबल्ड पर्सन अ ट्रांस पर्सन टू से आई एम ऑल्सो रेलिवेंट या बॉस मेरे को भी तो हायर कर लो मेरे में क्या कमियां है यार मेरे को हाथ पैर में कोई डिफेक्ट है पर मेरा बेजा चलता है मेरे हाथ दिख रहा है नॉट विथ ब्लाइंड इट्स अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी आई एम सेइंग एक आदमी में कोई कमियां होती है ना यार ये तो नहीं है कि मैं फीमेल हूं और मेल हूं तो मेरे में कमियां ही नहीं है ऐसे तो कोई नहीं है ना कुछ भी इफ आई एट द वेर आई एम एट द पावरफुल पोजिशन टू मेक अ डिसीशन आई एम एबल टू सेट अ गोल टू से नेक्स्ट ईयर आई एम हायरिंग हंड्रेड पीपल इसमें से 40 पीपल हैव टू बी मेल 40 पीपल हैव टू बी फीमेल 10 ट्रांस 10 स्पेशली एबल ओके नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस ये मैट्रिक हो गया एट द टॉप मोस्ट लेवल ये डॉक्यूमेंट हो गया एट द बोर्ड लेवल अभी आपको करना क्या है अभी मेरे को 10 ट्रांस पीपल को लाना है तो इट इज इजीयर एक्चुअली फॉर मी बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर चेंज मे बी आई हैव टू क्रिएट यूनिसेक्स टॉयलेट्स इजी बॉडी बदलना है ना बाहर सो लेट मी हायर ट्रांस फर्स्ट स्पेशली एबल के लिए मेरे को इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर चेंज करना पड़ेगा या हाइब्रिड जॉब्स 
मैं उनको कोई नौकरिया दू जो मार्केटिंग है फाइनेंस है सपोर्ट है जो घर से भी कर सकते हैं वो लोग वर्चुअली ओके देन यू वर्क टूवर्ड्स व्हाट आर यू गोइंग टू गिव देम टू मीट दैट टेन नंबर सो द गोल व्हेन अ इन्वेस्टर इज पुटिंग इन मनी एंड इज आस्किंग यू फॉर योर ईएसजी मैट्रिक्स एंड इज आस्किंग यू फॉर योर सस्टेनेबिलिटी रिपोर्टिंग ही शुड आस्क यू फॉर ये भी बताओ तुम इसमें क्या कर रहे हो सो so, चलो इन्वेस्टर ने पैसा डाल दिया तुमने बोल दिया कि हम तो डायवर्सिटी इंक्लूजन कर लेंगे तुमने चार प्रोग्राम कर ली पांच प्रोग्राम कर ली तुम्हारी मैट्रिक्स एवरीथिंग इज फाइन यू गुड टू गो हाउ विल दिंग चेंज इफ यू डू नॉट डू दैट चेंज द डे वी विल चेंज इज वेन अ किराना दुकान वाला विल नॉट हैव अ प्रॉब्लम हायरिंग अ ट्रांस वुमेन और अ मैन एंड स्पेशली एवरी पर्सन इवन इफ यू स्लो विथ रिस्पेक्ट एंड से यू नो you are also part of us you are free to mm-hmm. today the specially able school that i sit in mm-hmm. track how many people are getting placed in organizations and this and that. Mm-hmm. you know the push we have to give an organization to hire they look at me and then they will hire trans i have placed people in multiple organization trans people mm-hmm. ek aayega do aayega teen aayega you know it's never ki uh, 50 log hum trans logon ko le rahe mm-hmm. questions with ट्रेनिंग कैसे करेंगे अरे फीमेल मेल में क्या ट्रेनिंग करते हो यार उनकी भी तो रिटेंशन पावर है कभी पूछते हो क्यों लिया ये आदमी को क्यों लिया कभी नहीं पूछते इट इज अट ये दिस इज इधर से शुरू होती है हर चीज यहाँ से शुरू हो जाती है फिर दिल पे आके लटक अटक गई ना उस दिन ये काम अपने आप हो जाए दैट इज द ट्रांजेक्शन दैट वी एंड यू नो वन थिंग आई वुड रियली लाइक टू कॉल आउट अर्जुन इट्स आउट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट बट यू नीड टू नो for the 1851 mutiny the world used to trans people as advisors to the kingdom ye hamare ye slave dam slavery mein jo hamare sath jo jo anyay hue usme ye bhi nikal gaye they were always known as the clever people so why don't we in our strategic advisory team for an organization have trans people as part of that they were the clever people please go back in history and you will indian see history. that they were indian history also ma'am if you see the war of mahabharat was won by shikhandi the she when that who defeated who defeated dron uh pitam ye bhishma pitama was because he was there fighting for the pandavas else the war would have continued so that what is the truth what does it tell you shrewdness hmm. of mind hmm. and an aggression of body will give you desired result if you have a purpose which is clearly defined hmm. simple se hmm. baat hai yaar it is not so complicated you know be complicate either complication hoti hai bilkul sahi i think it's uh, and then we measure success agar teen log aaye aur do log chhod diye to hum bolenge ki 60% attrition rate hai so why 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 proceed with this and that's where the problem happens that's where the problem happens so the question should be if i want 100% retention and i take 40% trans and specially able i may have 40% retention rather than worrying about 60% attrition versus retention hmm metrics hmm. define behaviors unfortunately we are designed that way that's why har aadmi bolta hai maths karo maths karo maths karo बिल्कुल सही बात है सो आई थिंक व्हाट हैपेंस ना एक्सप्लेनिंग समथिंग बाय नंबर्स इज व्हाट वी हैव बीन ट्रेंड सिंस बर्थ कि हां दिस इज हाउ थिंग्स आर पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव चेक फॉर द नंबर्स दे विल टेल द स्टोरी सो करेक्ट दैट्स वेयर वी आर अट्यून टू यू नो मेजर एवरीथिंग वेदर यू नो अ सक्सेस और अ फेलियर मैम जस्ट वन मोर क्वेश्चन बिफोर वी पार्ट मैम एंड एंड आई आस्क दिस बिकॉज़ आई एम फॉर्चूनेट टू हैव अ वेरी हाईली एक्सपीरियंस a uh, professional who has worked across different uh, not only industries but also domains and managed uh, various responsibilities diverse as diverse as managing the csr portfolio and also uh, managing the hr role to so, mujhe ma'am kyunki i have this unique combination <laughs> and that's why i'm asking this question to you ma'am is cheez ka jo solution hai when it comes to creation of employment for persons with disabilities uh, specifically uh, while companies have offered you know work from home opportunities especially i i say this for persons with disabilities who are not successful nahi ho pata 
uh, honestly why it's not working uh, there are multiple reasons jo hai because yes it's a very good offset uh, it was always in the reckoning covid provided the impetus ki theek hai ye cheez per force ho gaya ki ye hona hi tha to is karan isko thoda sa push mila but when it comes to creation of employment for persons with disabilities wo aaj bhi bahut abysmal numbers hain you have been on the board of um, you know organizations if you've been on both sides of the of the you know uh, you've also worked as the head of the leadership of organizations and you've also had the helm of uh, ngos who are working in this space and this problem ko kaise address kiya ja sakta hai where is the solution to the problem of more representation of uh, disabled in the workforce how can that be addressed uh, to what you believe so you know i do not want to call anybody disabled i would rather mm. call them specially able Mm. and uh, you know so i just think uh, one important thing arjun is people who work in that domain mm. have to understand and explain to people who don't work in that domain okay so there is a lot of onus for special schools specially able children to understand their capabilities and therefore just teaching them a classroom nios system may not be the solution the real solution lies in vocational skilling and okay. you need to understand the need analysis of the world so let me take finance because i was there in financial services the longest part of my career where is my attrition the highest my attrition is the highest in sales jobs okay okay now mm-hmm. can a specially able person do sales the answer is yes or no is hmm. somebody who is in that space needs to convince the employer that i can assure you this person can do sales isko ye teen tarike ke trainings chahiye ya dusra hai ki ye vocational training jab aap karte ho in hmm. on premise inko itna taiyar kar do ki they are ready made for the world because the employer doesn't care wo specially abled hai ki male hai ki female hai उसको ये चाहिए कि आउटपुट देगा कि नहीं देगा बिल्कुल हु विल अश्योर सी व्हेन आई एम आई एम अ नो अगेन आई डोंट वांट टू से आई एम नॉर्मल आई एम नॉट अ स्पेशली एबल्ड पर्सन आई डू नॉट नो द लाइफ ऑफ अ स्पेशली एबल्ड पर्सन आई एम अ हेड एचआर हु नीड्स टू हायर 100 पीपल ओके 100 इज जस्ट अ वेरी स्मॉल नंबर वी हायर मच अभी 100 लोग चाहिए हमको कहा से हमको जल्दी से सौ लोग मिलेंगे जो हमारा काम शुरू कर देंगे बिकॉज हम प्रॉफिट के लिए काम करते हैं हमारे को बोर्ड को रिपोर्टिंग करनी पड़ती है अर्जुन वी हैव कॉट आर ओन मेट्रिक्स वी हैव आर ओन चैलेंजेस वी हैव ऑल्सो कॉट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इन अ डे वी डोंट वर्क विथ फिफ्टी आवर्स इफ यू ब्रिंक अ पर्सन हु इज नॉट स्पेशली एबल्ड बट एनी बडी अदर देन स्पेशली एबल्ड एंड यू से इसको दो दिन की क्लासरूम ट्रेनिंग कर देंगे और इसको आप काम पे लगा सकते हो एंड यूर your meter will start so right. my thing is arjun first of all you need to understand the need of the organization and when okay. you look at the need of the organization the question that you need to ask is where do you need people and then you have to see whether your populace can fit into mm-hmm. that need mm-hmm. the second thing if i am doing say hiring for women okay let me take women easiest because we always do it mm-hmm. we do what we call men as allies we mm. do un- uh, removing unconscious biases and who is the audience it's the men who are the audience for all this it's not the women theek mm. so when we do mentoring for the men to accept women as equals in the workplace that itself has mm. taken generations was mm. Mm. so that education i seriously think arjun all you people who work in the specially able space should look at an advisory training vocational importance to be created even at a fee because when we do women gender sensitization unconscious bias mentoring there are companies who charge okay ye free mein nahi hote hmm. and they train the companies to be ready be future ready okay for accepting women as part of the growth chart so tomorrow be prepared you'll have a woman boss mm-hmm. how will you cope with a woman boss if you have worked only with men all your life because your upbringing may be very different to make you may not have women at home also mother might be a housewife 
no sisters no daughters wife also may be a housewife and then suddenly you have a boss at work who's a woman aggressive alpha male woman how do you cope with her we train them right so how do you prepare yourself as a person who genuinely believes in sustainable livelihood for the specially able is mm. one you find out the need of the organization mm. make your make your people specially mm. able blind deaf whatever you want to call them future ready okay tell them to be future ready go to the employer and say boss i will give you so many people i will ensure and guarantee you they will be productive you can charge them placement fees hmm. you can charge them training fees hmm. and get them future ready both the employer and the employee that onus hmm. is with you not with hmm. the organization okay organizations so, are for purpose. Purpose. ngos are for purpose okay so talk towards the solution uh, where is the pain point uska bolo we have the answer for it if it's sales and you need more sales representatives we have the answer for it we need x number of days we have x number of people y number of people ready in that many days uh, if that makes sense matlab you think make it as specific as that and and before that the sensitization of course which is required hmm. and that is a, your investment to make them future ready you know your employees your people have to be future ready the hmm. world needs them Hmm. I mean, you know, there are deaf and dumb people running a whole uh, restaurant, right? Hmm. There are Bombay. blind people working hmm. in uh, various places. There are people with Down hmm. syndromes running cafeterias. So, hmm. what is it that stops us? They're skilled to do it, right? Skilling ही तो किया है. इसकी skilling चाहिए. Skilling investment for skilling and investment for scaling. Hmm. are two things that you need to put even if it comes at a cost or hmm. if it comes at a price price you quote cost hmm. you income hmm. 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 and that is so, the crux of this sir to bilkul sahi baat hai it's people planet and profit i am repeatedly telling you arjun apni puri zindagi ko people planet aur profit kar do everything hmm. becomes very easy to understand that's my mantra the triple p Hmm. The, the the triple bottom line is all about people planet profit i am harping on this repeatedly because once you understand who are you impacting people hmm what's in it for the organization profit by hmm. giving sustainable livelihood to people with down syndrome or blind or whatever i am keeping a planet which is sustainable for the future yeah hmm. they are part of the inclusivity program for me If I even do an environmental thing for climate, or you know, if I say cycling, karo, hmm. the Go Green initiative. What am I supporting? Hmm. I'm supporting the planet. I'm supporting hmm. the people by fitness by making them cycle. I'm supporting the profit because productivity will increase when a man gets fit. So, three things. So, I'm cycling. So, I can tell you that it can happen. So, when you're working so deeply, just divide it into people, planet, profit. Your answer lies there. Just divide it into people, planet, profit. Your answer lies there. ठीक है मैम एब्सोल्युटली बट थैंक यू सो मच मैम इट वाज सच एन इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन बहुत अच्छा लगा आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम टू स्पीक टू यू अगेन एंड आई वुड सीक मोर प्लीज गिव मी द लिबर्टी टू रीच आउट टू यू व्हेनेवर आई सीक मोर गाइडेंस एंड लुक फॉरवर्ड टू सीइंग योर एंगेज जी मैम एंड फ्रॉम द ऑडियंस ऑफ नाबिट अ बिग थैंक यू टू यू एंड फॉर ऑल द गाइडेंस एंड मेंटरशिप एक्सटेंडेड and ma'am uh, look forward to hosting you whenever possible again soon uh, with new set of questions thank you, thank you my so pleasure much. my pleasure totally and thank you nabit for giving me this opportunity and god bless all the good work you guys do continue to make the difference and make this world a better place and help us to find purpose thank right. you so much thank you ma'am thank you